Right, hi guys, welcome back to the Moni Auctionman and welcome back to the Elite Racing League Championship on F1 2020. As can be seen, we're at Mexico this race and we have qualified in P4. Well, our crazy teammate Matt has qualified in P9 with a alternate strategy starting on the mediums. But most of us going for soft tyres. It's a circuit I normally go well at, so I'm looking forward to having a strong result as we wait for the five lights to go out now, which will be any minute. We've got Brent ahead, we've got Don the man behind after a pre impressive qualifying there in that Mercedes, and we've got the dual Alpha Tauris ahead of Joseph Plampot and Ice One Ollie. We've got Brent taking the defensive line immediately there. We're in rich mix, we're overtake, this straight is crucial. There could be a lot of problems going into turn one here. We're going to break round the outside of Ollie. We've Got Ollie covered. Oh, he tags his teammate though, and then Ollie comes across us, and there's contact with us and Ollie, and Ollie's still there. What a great, what a great save by Ollie there. That was uh, really, really close. Ollie collecting it himself after contact with his teammate, but it's not over yet because Don the man's there, but he gets boxed in by Ollie. Then we try and go around the outside. Brent goes around the outside of all three of us. Ollie squeezes us onto the grass. We've got nowhere to go. Then we get up the up the back end of by Don the man and then Jamie's coming around us outside so wow we've gone up two and then down two immediately we were qualified fourth we got up to second then th down to third then down to fifth it's all going off it's all kicking off Don the man has got through into P4 he bided his time he's taking some alternative lines there he'll be picking up a few warnings for that so he needs to be careful throughout this race not to cut too many corners I think that'll already one or two warnings for him we try and mount an attack on Don the man now this black one has been frantic mainly with me and Ollie Don the man taking all the corner markers out now as well hitting all the cones so it was a chaotic start there Ollie having a good start but then tagging Joe put him into our path so we tagged him going into the second turn he gathered it all together and then there was an absolute cluster going into 4, 5 and 6 where Brent came round us outside there was Don the man up the inside but got boxed in by Ollie it was just all kicking off wasn't it so yeah a frantic start but thankfully we're all still pointed in a straight line and all pretty much in the positions we qualified so okay not the best start I was hoping to stay and maintain that P3 maybe even into P2 at the start there but it didn't happen but I'm trying to get back into P4 now as I make a lovely move around the outside of Don the man there Don giving us a little bit room which was nice of him um ollie taking an alternate line up ahead there and getting a three second time penalty already on lap two so that won't be good for ollie it really needs to be careful now with those corner cutting penalties because they could be crucial come the end of the race so we're back up into p4 where we qualified and wow we could have been a tale of two fortunes there i can't believe we're still in fourth we could have been leading this race or we could have in fact been down at the back of the field but as it stands we're in p4 we're up to p3 briefly i believe now as we come in into lap 10 there's a couple of cars ahead pitted it's our turn to pit now the pit stop window is open and we are diving into the pits our soft tires wearing away there and that means that drum tank who uh, started at the back actually don dominic orlando uh means that he's trying to carve his way through the field so we're into the pits and now oh dear They've got a spare wing for us. Unfortunately, on that first lap, we picked up the slightest bit of wing damage. But because the... It's such a shame. Because the game automatically changes damage unless you tell it no, um, it'll change your wing anyway. So that has cost us quite a bit of time and also cost us with the uh, battle with Ollie as well, which is a shame that... Uh, I should really check that, but we got caught up in Monaco by not changing his wing, and this time around we've got caught up because the wing's changed, and we really didn't need to. I didn't even know I had damage. So, yeah, as you can see now, a few cars around us, in fact, all of them around us, has picked up at least three seconds worth of time penalty. Here's Ollie exiting the pits, and yet we have come out behind Ollie now, unfortunately. He's gone for another run on the soft tyres. We've got one more stop to do in this race. I've gone soft, medium, soft, and it looks like Ollie is going soft, soft, medium, and that is Dustin, who has yet to pit on his sole medium tyres. He's going for the one-stop. He's going mediums onto hards. So, uh, yeah, he's holding us up at the moment, but he's got no right to get for to just to let us through and let us pass. Uh, he is racing us for position, after all, and he wants to keep making time up uh, on the cars that he's racing around with that same strategy. So, I believe that's our teammate, isn't it? Uh, Matthew D'Souza. So... We're going to get the DRS on him here. Another alternate line there by uh, Dustin, taking the Don the Man line, and we're through on him there. He does let us go in the DRS. He, it was fairly pointless in fighting that. We take a agricultural line going through that corner just to make sure there was no contact between me and Dustin. We're not racing for position as such, but we came together on track. We had a nice little battle there, and we're through. No da ha 
harm done. Had we not had to uh, have that wing change, which we really didn't need, we'd have been ahead of Ollie, so that was a bit frustrating. And as you can see ahead of us, we've got... Brent that's gone onto the hard tyres after starting on the soft so he's only doing a one stop and it turns out that the one stop was the way to go we jumped to lap 24 now it's time for our second pit stop so all he's worn is softs out uh, he stops a bit later than us and uh, we are diving into the pits now for our final stop onto the softs and with the Brent, Brent on hard tyres was just driving so consistently. Um, I came out of the pits, I was eight seconds behind him. I only got to within four seconds of him, and I couldn't actually uh, catch him any further than that. And then he started to break away again as his hard tyres were just putting in the consistent lap times. He wasn't quick, but we couldn't put a dent in him. Our initial fast pace on the softs and the mediums compared to the hard just wore away after f a few laps and then it was just stalemate so Brent with a cracking strategy pulls himself ahead of myself and Ollie who've gone for the two stop uh, we come out in fifth place and we're on to the final few laps here now as we catch up to Ollie on the mediums. We've gone for another set of the mediums. We didn't go for softs in the end. We didn't think there was any point risking it. Ollie was picking up quite a lot of penalties. Uh, as can be seen, we've picked up three seconds ourselves as well. So, yeah, as you can see there, Brent in third place has just checked out in the hard tyres. Fair play to him for that. A good strategy there. Uh, can't be blamed for him for uh, having to see... What you know, he, he made what worked for him. We've got a warning for corner cutting there as we're taking agricultural lines now, um, trying to overtake Ollie. It is for position on track, which is always nice, uh, but not really a position as such. Ollie picking up all those penalties means that we're going to finish ahead of him regardless. So we're on for a P4 finish. Don't need to do anything silly or anything desperate on Ollie. It's a little bit different to uh, Japan last time around when we were right when we were racing Ollie, of course, uh, because that was for position. So we got a little bit more desperate there, but this time. Time. there's no need we've saved ourselves for the straight we're into rich mix we've got the drs uh, enabled as well and overtake and we're going to go for a fairly easy pass down the extraordinary long straight here at mexico a circuit i do enjoy actually it's not a favorite of everyone's in this league i know a lot of people were uh, moaning when it was uh, announced for the race calendar but nonetheless i i really enjoy it and the second help in the drs just to break away from Ollie, so that can't be a bad thing, can it? Although I think Ollie will come back at us more than likely. He never gives up, even if it is for, with penalties. We take a slightly wider line there, but all good. And yeah, it was a, it was an enjoyable race overall. I would say it was uh, certainly a, a good good battle with Ollie uh, Brent pulling out a blinding strategy and the start there it was so chaotic but thankfully we all made it through and we all continued and lived to fight another day because there could have been so many cars pointing in so many different directions there it was a credit to the league that we all kept going and kept it in a straight line so we're about to start the last lap now ollie's given it the full beans for this last lap he was saving overtake he was saving rich because he was saving everything but of course even if he overtakes us, so long as we stay within the 12 seconds of him, we will net the position due to penalties. So it breezes past us, no problems at all. Then we outbreak ourselves a little bit giddily, trying to fire up the inside. We cut the corner and we pick up another three-second time penalty. So he's got 12 seconds, we've got six seconds. That means I just need to stay within six seconds of Ollie, and I will gain that position on the road overall. So... Yeah, shame for Ollie to pick up so many penalties. As mentioned, on that first lap, he picked up three seconds instantly due to running so wide. But that's the nature of the beast with league racing, of course. We need to set some sort of penalties and have some rulings, otherwise everyone would just be driving absolutely everywhere on track. Joseph and Dom, they'll know what I mean. They know how to cut the corners without gaining penalties, so that's why they're always quicker. Uh, me and Gomez have been lobbying for uh, strict penalties on the, on the uh, ERL, but they won't have them. They won't have them. Will you don't show it, Dom? You won't have them. Uh, but anyway, we're going around the final couple of corners. We've got the confetti flying. We didn't win the race, but we get to see the confetti because the leader has already crossed the line. We go wide at the final corner, just for good measure there. And we cross the line in P5, but we will be elevated into P4 just like that. There we go, P4. A lovely result for us. We're very happy. We'll take that. Thank you very much. And driver of the day is, of course, Dom Drum Tank, who started at the back and went for the hard tyres onto the soft tyre strategy. And he finished second overall there. Looking at that, Brent, a cracking podium there and a great strategy by him as well to get himself on the podium. Fair play to him for that. 
And as you can see now, the driver's spraying the champagne. So, yeah, we've done well. I'm happy with that. We've done really well this season. A solid P4 finish there is not to be sniffed at. Very happy. Mr. Consistency this year we are. We've not got the pace all the time, but what we do is we make up for it just by having clean races. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you all next Friday for another race. Much love!